Counselor Jones here, and you may be wondering, hmm, where is Counselor Jones? Well, friends, I'm not at school in my office at school, but I am at home in my office. So this is another place where I like to come and I like to think about the next stories that I'm going to read. And so we are still in the month of January and we are still focusing on that character trait of perseverance. And so today I will be reading to you Giraffes Can't Dance. That is our next book. Okay. So friends, let me tell you all about this story because you are in for a treat. It is about Gerald. Now, Gerald is a giraffe. He's very good at standing tall. He's good at eating leaves. But when it comes to dancing, oh my goodness, friends, not so much. He cannot dance at all. So the other animals say in the story. But Gerald the giraffe, he wants nothing more but to dance. That's all he wants to do. Have you ever wanted something so much that you try and you try and you give it your all and you keep on and you're constantly persevering? That is what Gerald is going to be doing in this story. Now, his bent knees and his thin legs kind of make it difficult, you know, to get those dance moves in. Bruh. Like... Counselor Jones is kind of dancing right now. I think I'm dancing pretty good, don't you? Bruh. <laughs> or not. But with some help and some encouragement from a friendly cricket, Gerald, he realizes that anyone can dance. But you have to have the right music, friends. Do you agree? Or you can kind of dance to anything. I can dance to anything. I, I believe I can dance to anything. But... This story is not about Counselor Jones. This story is about Gerald the Giraffe. Now, friends, if you have a copy of this book, please go and grab it as I read to you, Giraffes Can't Dance. Also, please, if you enjoy my read-alouds and you want more stories and you're like, ooh, I can't wait, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel because I can help you become stronger and it's all about growth mindset. We're on this journey together, friends. So, let's begin. Counselor Jones Corner. Giraffes can't dance. Giraffes Can't Dance, written by Giles Andre, illustrated by Guy Parker Reese. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees. But when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Now every year in Africa, they hold the jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The warthogs started waltzing, and the rhinos rocked and rolled. The lions danced a tango that was elegant and bold. The chimps all did a cha-cha with a very Latin feel and eight baboons then teamed up for a Scottish war. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked towards the floor, but the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look! At clumsy Gerald, 
the animals all sneer. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted to the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He'd never felt so sad before. So sad and so alone. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed the cricket, <laughs> who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that the lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swaying and his tail was swishing round. He threw his legs out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leaped up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful, his mouth was open wide. I am dancing! Yes, I'm dancing! I'm dancing! Jill cried. Then, one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogie on and watched him quite entranced. They shouted, it's a miracle! We must be in a dream! Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever, ever seen! How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how! But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with the bow. Then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. 